Hey everybody, Sean here with Tab Performance and today I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall one of our tips on our 4 inch and 4.5 and inch BAM sticks for whatever the case may be, whether you're swapping tips, whether you're flipping the slash cut upside down, or if you're installing a set of zombie rings. And then along with that I'm going to show you how to um, repair some of the nicks and dings that can happen when you're taking the tips in and out along with the baffles as well so sometimes that can get kind of dinged up so I'll show you how to cover that up. First thing you're going to do is remove the two bolts holding on the tip. There's one on the inside. There's also one on the bottom. There's another bolt on the bottom along with the one that holds in the tip. It's the one that holds in the baffle. You do not need to remove that one as it has no connection to the tip at all. Just remove out the one closer to the tip. The next step is just going to be to slide this tip out. It's going to be pretty easy on a set of chrome mufflers or a set of black 4 inch, but the, the fitment is a little bit tighter on these 4.5 inch ones in black, so it helps a ton if you have some type of WD-40 or other lubricant, just go ahead and spray that down in there. So let that do its work for a little bit, and then you can just go ahead and grab this and shake it a little bit. right out like that clean off the WD-40 that you had all right so once you get the tip out of there you're gonna go ahead and clean up the excess lubricant that you used and then you can see here the nicks and dings I was talking about when you're sliding the tips in and out or if you did a baffle swap or something like that and when you're putting everything back in there you can catch on this and kind of take up some of the paint so I'm gonna show you how to cover that up but if not it's no big deal it's mainly cosmetic because all of our mufflers are nickel coated so it should never rust or corrode or anything like that so you have a barrier between all the corrosion and things like that so if this this is something that you're concerned about um, I'm gonna show you how to cover that up here and basically all you do is you take a q-tip and some high temp grill paint get it coated nice and good and then you're just going to run this q-tip along the outside if there's any paint coming up and this one is probably a lot worse than some of your guys's just because we've had tips on and off this thing for different photo shoots sound clips the baffles in and out so these things are just kind of beat up so yours probably won't look this bad so if I can cover this up you should be able to cover whatever you have up as well and once you get one coat on I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then add another coat when you pull out the tip depending on how tightly fitted it was in there you can potentially have some paint come up right here right here is not a big deal but where you may want to cover things up is if it if you put the tip back on and it smashes it in the muffler you can kind of pull the paint up a little bit on the edges so you can cover that up if you want but if you don't want to it's not a huge deal because the tips are made out of billet aluminum so it won't ever corrode or rust but if you do want that covered up um, all you have to do is do the same thing we did with the muffler just take the q-tip and run along the edge there wherever there's paint coming up just like that and I only worry about the edges you can cover the rest of this stuff up but you're not going to see that anyway so I'm not going to worry about that all right, once that coat is dry, we can go ahead and reinstall the tip. And if one thing to keep in mind is if you had a Z-ring pre-installed and your tip was like this, you're going to have to relocate your set screws because when you go to put this back in, your set screws are gonna be right in position um, where your bolt holes go. So you'll be trying to screw that bolt into where your set screw is. So you have to relocate that. So just keep that in mind when you're reinstalling these if you have the Z-ring pre-installed. So you're gonna put this back in here and it may help here to, to just go ahead and lube this back up and again if you have a chrome set or a four inch set you probably won't have to worry about this but it's going to help no matter what you have but it's going to be especially helpful on the black four and a half inch just line up 
your holes. And you want to do it evenly because if you don't have any lube on it and it gets cockeyed in there, it's going to be a pain to get back out. So just make sure you take your time putting it back in there, making sure everything's lined up. Once it's in there and square, our bolt holes are lined up, we can go ahead and take our hardware and reinstall it. This would also be a good time to um, add some red Loctite to these as well if you're constantly taking these things in and out. Alright, and that's basically it. So it's all basically just nuts and bolts and then I'm touching up with some quick easy spray paint. So if you like what you saw, if this was helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram.